So what do they hey, eat in Arthur. Germany, Strauss? I'm Austrian. Oh. Well, so what do they eat in Australia? It's a miracle you don't fall over more. <sighs> I don't know. I just go say anything. <laughs> It's Arthur goddamn Polass Morgan. I love you. I love you. I do. Well, you're pretty drunk. And you're a, a funny fella. But you're okay. Well, you're not. Everyone thinks that you're Dutch's pet. His pet? <coughs> yep. Like a dog or a cat. You're his favorite. Favorite? People care about that? Sure. I mean, so, so, some do. A few people. Who? I don't know. I don't know. Or me, or not me, maybe me. I don't, ah, shit, I don't know. I mean, like, hey, hey, it's like, okay, I love liquor. I love liquor, but liquor don't love me. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> pathetic. Gene, really pathetic. Come here, my sweet. Oh, She really hates me, Arthur. Man, bunch of sour faces. Cheer up, a lot of you. None of them women got the clap. None of you got lynched yet. Ain't none of you got married, neither. <laughs> Way I see it, ain't no good in worrying about what may be. Worry about what you got and ain't got, and none of you got nothing to worry about. Just like my daddy told me. He said, son, don't worry about the future. Worry about today. And I said, what do you mean, Pa? He said, well, you're going to get a beating so hard, you'll be lucky to even see tomorrow. <laughs> well, he was right. Damn nearly killed hey, me, Arthur. but it taught me not to watch women in the outhouse and get caught. You also taught me not to worry about nothing other than that which is gonna happen. Hi there. We're gonna be okay. We are gonna be fine. I mean, sure, I know things don't seem fine right now, but I've got a feeling that they are going to be fine. There's nothing to worry about. I mean, believe in old Bill here, because old Bill believes in Dutch. You know, it's how a fella responds in a moment of crisis to show you who he really is. And I know. I know as sure as the sun rises in, in the one place and then goes and sets in the other, that Dutch will get us out of this mess. Now, sure, we might, we might run into another five messes down the road. Shit, we might run into a whole series of messes, but... But we will get to the promised land, and we will be free! And for those of you who doubt it, you'll be the ones who won't make it. You can trust me on that. It's trust. 
North to South Trust. That's all I'm saying. You know, I've seen a lot of men who say one thing and do the other thing. You okay? We promise you the world. You brought well, it they on rob the bread off your plate. Listen, I know Dutch been a little erratic recently. I, I know what went on in Blackwater. Well, none of us is pretending that was something nice. But I guess the way I see it, we still here, and he's still right. I mean, look, you're all free to think what you want to think, but for me, I still believe in him because. Well, look, he did what he did, but he did it for love, for all of us. Yes, I feel bad. They didn't deserve that, but listen, I just think, and I've been thinking about this a lot, I just think Dutch loves us. And being loved, well, we're going to be okay. We're going to make it. Powerful man. I knew if I stayed, everyone I loved would die. I ran, not for my life, but for theirs. In this country, I spoke no English. I was afraid. I had nothing except for my fear for I left in a rush. I was starving, feeble, and alone. I thought I would die crossing the desert. I thought I would get here and be sent back. I thought I would be killed here. Instead, I was simply starving because nobody cared. And then I met Dutch. I was stealing chickens and he, uh, I met him doing the same, <laughs> and we laughed. He took me in, and he fed me, and he clothed me, and I met all of you. I don't believe I shall ever go back home now. For this, this is my home now. You. You are all my home now. Find it like this, it's gonna fly much better. You're a useful fella to have around. Not everyone would agree. Like who? Bill, for one. Bill don't like nobody who's tougher or smarter than him. Ain't that right, Arthur? Quite right. Which means he don't like many people at all. Except for maybe that Kieran. <laughs> <laughs> See? You learn quick. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I once saw Mac beat up 15 sailors. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't nothing. Everybody knows them Navy boys can't fight. <laughs> That's why they float. <laughs> That's so. <laughs> sure. That ain't nothing. I once beat up 20. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna miss Mac. He was a good man. Kind of fellow you like to rob alongside. Yeah. You know? <laughs> hmm. Heartless son of a bitch. But he had a heart. Mm, that makes any sense. <laughs> I know what you mean. R.I.P. Mac. Mm. How you keeping? Well, girls ain't happy. Let me tell you that for nothing. Not happy at all. <laughs> Don't know why. Well, that's not true. I do know why. They're lazy, good-for-nothing brats. Every last one of them. They're whores with ideas miles above their station. I mean, in my day, it just didn't happen. Talk back to a madam? <laughs> I'd have been horse-whipped. And I was. 
Oh, I was horse whipped. And I'm grateful. Oh, I wish Dutch had let me whip some of them pathetic wretches into shape. They need it. Oh, so help me God. They need it. I mean, it's bad now, but it's only gonna get worse. It's ridiculous. It's got ridiculous. I mean, there's simply no respect for their betters. How's it going with you? Oh, my spirits couldn't be higher. Good for you. I still feel bad about Sean. How was I to know? It's done now. No changing it. Well, hello. What is this slop? Oh, Arthur, it is good to see you. You okay, Maybeth? Just great, but I nearly got killed back in town. They caught me robbing from a store, and I ran for my life. You weren't followed here. Arthur Morgan, of course not. Who do you think you're speaking to? Good girl. So I've got a story for you, Jose. You'll like this one. Can we just enjoy some peace and quiet? You're a barrel of laughs, aren't you? Sure. Why are you walking around so sad? I'm not sad, just bored. You're bored? Bored's good. Bored means you ain't scared. Be grateful for being bored, lady. Soon enough, you're gonna be scared. When I was a little girl, I guess I hoped for... I don't know. I used to dream a lot. We all dreamt a lot. Then we grew into women. Saw what the world was for us. How little it values us. I guess. Cheer up. Smile. Try to forget about things. Okay. Either that or start praying real hard. What's wrong, Mr. Pearson? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Well, then why do you look like a beaten dog? Because... I don't know, it's hard to say. The mud? The swamps? Do you know I once saw the cape from a 40-foot swell? I once crossed the equator during a meteor shower. I rode into a harbor surrounded by beautiful mating selling pineapple and colors. Colors so brilliant they burn your eyes. And now, I live in a swamp, waiting to get shot for riding with outlaws. Well, I never took you for the self-pitying sort. I never was. It's the mud and the swamps. Sometimes it gets to me. Actually, I'm fine, Miss Grimshaw. <laughs> Nothing like good, honest labor. Back to work. Always first in the food line, aren't you? You ain't far behind me. <laughs> Still here, I guess. Thought you'd have hightailed it by now, to be honest. And go where? This is all I got for now. And you all ain't so bad. Abigail, she's as good as they come. So everyone keeps telling me. When are we eating, Mr. Pete? How you boys doing? Mind if I stand a while? My lord. But mock my words, one of these days, Karen will slit old Grimshaw's throat. We all hate her. But Mary Beth is sort of peaceful, and, and Abigail, she doesn't have time for that kind of nonsense. And I don't care enough, and Miss Adler, well, she may slit any one of our throats, come to think of it. But, but Karen, Karen hates her more than anyone, and she hates Karen. And Karen ain't one to hate unwisely. I've seen her cut men up more than once. If Grimshaw goes missing, I'll give you 20 to 1. Karen did it. Only she won't slit her throat. She'll cut her throat clean out and drink her blood. Mark my words, boys. 
seems we don't have a choice but to ride this train to the end of the line. If I were you, think of the boy and make plans. Arthur, stop being strange and tell her to make plans. Listen to Jose, Abigail. I just wish John was... I care about him. Damn fool that he is. I know, dear. Stay calm. Jack needs you calm. Now nothing's more romantic than a curse. I never exactly. touch a liquor again. Prince turned into a toad, lovers into stone, entire country turned into morons. Curses everywhere. What's Valentine's curse? Well, I didn't quite understand what the woman was saying, kind of her being a bit of an idiot, but some about a massacre and a last surviving Indian cursing the county. Well, if they massacred people, then they deserve to be cursed. Of course. You believe in curses, Arthur? No. I believe in bullets and not too much else. You soulless wretch. Goddamn fool out of myself. But what was it? W was it just bad luck or bad weather or something else? Something about an eagle or an owl. A grave sight. I didn't really get it. Well, I think it sounds very interesting. Oh, hey, Bill. Life's great pleasure hey, sitting by the fire with friends. No matter what else happens, nothing white beats sitting by the fire. You can have the hounds of hell after you and all the angels of vengeance alongside them, but a warm fire and you feel all is okay. Them that discovered the stuff must have thought they was gods among monkeys. They discovered fire! In our time, <laughs> they've discovered a wire you can talk down to speak to people you wanted to avoid so much you moved to a different town to escape them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was in the army, fellas would spend all night talking about what they were going to do the second they left the army. Oh, all kinds of things like, oh, I'm going to go and I'm going to be a cook or... Well, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find me a wife. <laughs> Hell, someone's like, <laughs> I'm gonna go and dance with the finest whore in San Francisco. <laughs> you know, some shit like that. You know how fellas is. Oh. Well, no offense. But you know what every one of them did the second they left the army? Join the goddamn army! Okay. Jesus Christ! I mean, here is a group of fellas that spent every waking minute just dreaming of leaving. And, and then they left, and then they jumped back in again. Stupid. You know what? That taught me something. And, and, and it taught me something I will never forget. And that's that most fellas are sheep. That's right. And, and if you can tell the difference between a... The difference between a sheep and a, a, a sheep and, and a man, then you, you, well you, the, you, that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words, all of you, mark my words. Stupid army. Sheep. I am ready to let loose tonight. Who been too long? You're always ready to let loose, Marshman. Well, life's too short. <laughs> you better go easy, Marston. Family man now. Right. I don't think so. <laughs> Mr. Morgan! Morgan! Reverend? Hello. 
Hello. What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. I am not made for land. <laughs> it's too many. Too many angles. Yeah, me? I like a flat horizon. Wide and clear, and little waves taking me south to paradise. Not a vicious blizzard. Thick mud, railways, filthy towns, and any other hells we've encountered. Black water! <laughs> Never was a place true named, huh? Huh? <laughs> I like blue water. Mm hmm. Black water? You can keep that. <laughs> blue water. Fire water. Salt water. Black water's for fools. Yep. It's just unnatural. All this land. Ain't natural at all. <sighs> I ever tell you boys about the time I was lost in the Congo and became a a living god for a few days? Seriously. This is a good one. And it's true. Entirely true. Many, many years ago, I was selling camping supplies in East Africa. <laughs> uh, my lord, it was wild. The massive boys, uh, them Congo Indians, <laughs> average nine feet tall. Some even bigger. <laughs> now, we was riding down the river, you know, when suddenly our boat erupted into flames. Uh, the rest of the crew, they, they was eaten by hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses. All right. I I'm survived, you know. <laughs> I got taken to a, a village in the trees. Uh, they'd never seen a white man before, and as luck would have it, they... They had a witch doctor made a prophecy that a god would turn up floating on the river, white as a cloud. <laughs> so they made me a god. <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks. Uh, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter. Either that or uh, sacrifice me to another god. <laughs> When I said I'm not the marrying kind, huh, they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> well, I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle, <laughs> gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. I promise you. <sighs> To this couple in town, they told me there's this old rumor about people drinking blood, human blood, in town. <laughs> That's just a silly old wife's tale. What? <laughs> blood drinking ain't romantic enough for you? Depends on whose blood. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> She's frightened of romance, Arthur, so she makes some nonsense. Don't we all? <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Adler. Uh. Let me see some more smiling, boys. Come on. Life is actually pretty good. A hundred years ago, we'd have been indentured men. My people were peasants starving in a field someplace. My mamas were in Lincolnshire. My daddies were outside of Rotterdam. At least that's what they told me. The modern world is ugly. But the old world was worse. Our job, our job is to make a better world for ourselves. Not go backward, 
but go forward with hope and dreams. Seriously. And that hope, that hope begins now by being hopeful and happy. So cheer up, all of you, cheer up. Okay, I'm a little better. Good. How are you? Fine. Hey, do you think... Do you worry? Do you worry that maybe we've lost our way? How do you mean? <sighs> Ignore that. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. But I don't know. Things seem bad. The world is changing, and... I'm not making much sense, am I? <laughs> no. But somehow, you've summarized how I feel. It, it seems awful. And then, it seems the same as always. And then, it, it seems like there's just no other way, and I... I, I just... Listen. We got out of worse situations than this. Done plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten about. <sighs> Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down fighting. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't going to find out sooner than I'd like. What do you think, Arthur? I don't do too much thinking, Jose. Killing's more my thing. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs>